Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside me today. Today we're gonna go off the beaten path a little bit for my channel at least and do a cooler review. So if you're not a regular follower of the Average Jack Archer YouTube channel, I strongly recommend you click the subscribe button down below. Do a lot of great outdoors content, of course focused around the sport of archery and archery hunting. But if you do follow the channel, you know that I am not a cooler person. I'm not a really expensive gear person. For example, I've done videos on how to save money on hunting clothing by putting a leafy suit over top, how to save money by doing your own lighted night so on and so forth. So when it comes to coolers in particular, I've never wanted to spend a whole lot of money for the Yeti, the Arctic, the Orca, and all the other large name brands that you see. But this year in particular, I'm going to Kansas, hopefully, Indiana and New Jersey potentially as well to hunt out of state from my normal woods here in Pennsylvania. And since I was going out of state and potentially off the grid for seven to 10 days, depending on the time frame, I was gonna need a cooler that was a lot more robust, be able to hold ice a lot longer, and in particular be big enough to carry a completely deboned deer out of the woods and back to my home state. So we all have one or two of these type of coolers sitting around. This is a 38 quart igloo cooler, right? It's got a nice flip top to it. It's got a wheel and a little carrying handle, which works really well if you're a dwarf. I'm six foot four, doesn't do me a whole lot of good. It holds ice for maybe 24 to 36 hours. You gotta drain it pretty frequently, but it does the job. It's great for those 4th of July camping picnics. It's great for going and visiting uh, with friends and family on a overnight or maybe a two or three day camping trip. It does the job just fine. 38 quarts. It's big enough to carry the drinks and other cold food items that you need on your camping trip. But in hot weather or if it's left in the sun, it's toast. You're talking 24 hours or less for a bag of two or of ice. So that's why I needed to step up to getting a bigger and better cooler. This is a 55 quart blue cooler. No, it's gray, but it's made by blue coolers. We'll talk about that here a little bit more in a second. But not only does it have a larger capacity, obviously it's significantly bigger. It's going to be much better insulated and it's going to be able to take care of a whitetail, fully deboned one. You're not going to stick a full bone whitetail. We'll talk about that here in a second, why I have the 55 quart instead of something a little bit bigger. But this is much better road built. Uh, there's no wheels to it. It's uh, uh, of course, a much thicker, much thicker construction. The polyethylene plastic is, of course, way better and higher quality. You can hear how hollow everything is along the sides of this thing. This thing is built like a rock. So this is known as a roto-molded cooler, which basically means that it is machined made to be this thick and this size with this much insulation on the inside. If you wanna know more about that, I'll put a link to Blue Cooler's website down below. But why I went with Blue instead of the other major manufacturers like Orca or Yeti, which dominated the market for years in the roto-molded cooler market, there's also Arctic, which makes a lightweight model of their coolers. The reason why I went with Blue is just strictly on the price point. The price point for a Blue Cooler in the 55 quart absolutely blows the doors off of all the other models. And particularly with the seven to 10 ice days that it gets out of this cooler, it really holds up in value. And of course, in build quality is just fantastic. 38 pounds dry weight. This sucker is a tank. This thing I can pick up with one hand. My kids can roll this thing around. Right now I have three bags of ice and about maybe 12 to 14 beverage cans in here. Plus of course the weight of the cooler. <coughs> <laughs> it is not a lightweight piece of equipment. The bigger what you get, obviously, the bigger in uh, weight you're going to get. So that's why I went with a 55 quart. You can go with the 100 quart uh, model from Blue Cooler, but that is, of course, going to be twice this size in length, a little bit taller as well. It's going to be dry weight, just almost more than you can handle. I like the idea of 55 quart because I can carry my food uh, in the back of my vehicle when I go out of state and I can eat my way through it, right? And then, and it's all over, I can take a smaller cooler unladen like this one, take my food contents out of this, put it into here for the ride home, and put that deboned deer into here. Who knows how long that deboned deer needs to be cooled down? You know, I'm be traveling to Kansas, so two or three days. Indiana's probably a one to two day trip. New Jersey, I could be back and forth in a day, but being able to cool that meat and keep it cold in a hot car in the early season or something like that is gonna be really imperative for me. So I am not interested in the whole, let's put ice in this thing, and then wait seven to 10 days, leave it in the sun, put a thermometer and check the temperature. I could not care less. Basically, I would much rather take this with me and go camping with it, go hunting with it, and actually use it for its intended use. I can tell you right now, I loaned this, not only used it myself, but loaned it to my in-laws. They took it camping with them out in the boondocks here of Pennsylvania, and they brought it back to their house after a weekend long trip, left it in their pole barn until that following Friday, 
opened it up and they couldn't open it up because of the vacuum seal from all the cold air that's inside the cooler. Let's see if it actually will do it here. I've had this sitting here for about an hour and let's see if it will, uh, well, if it'll open up or if it'll try to pull itself with a vacuum seal. So you see it won't actually lift itself. There goes, there breaks the vacuum seal to allow it in here. And you can feel just by opening it how cold it has stayed inside. And we'll open this lid back up here in a second. That is a huge thing. It's just like your freezer at home, right? You have a big chest freezer, a deep freezer, like I do for all of my venison throughout the hunting season. When I go to open that, right, it has that suction, right? Same thing with your refrigerator because the cooler air on the inside and the way it's condensed down in there, it sucked it in. They actually had to release the valve to drain the water, that type of thing. They had to release that valve of this cooler to get it to open after sitting for seven days. That's the kind of cold temperature and that's the kind of vacuum I want out of a cooler like this. Now let's open this back up. Again, there's that suction feel. So we got a really nice thick lid, a really nice gasket. It's your typical roto molded cooler build, right? Has a nice contact ring around the outside. It has uh, the metal corner so you can run a padlock through, make it bear proof, or even TSA if you want to try to fly with this thing, although it weighs a ton. And if you laid in it, it's going to be thick as well. You can see just by the overall profile of the lid and, of course, the entire way around how much insulation is actually on the inside of this thing. And I'll do some B roll shots here so you can actually you see what the contents looks like with just three bags of ice. Now, do I think that you could fit a whole um just quartered out deer in 55? No, but if I went up to the 100 quart, I just wouldn't be able to move it. It's just so heavy and cumbersome, if you will. And I'm a big dude, 6'4", well over 200 pounds. I can handle a large cooler like this. Like, I can lift it up, right? It's not that big of a deal, but it's significantly not uh, nearly as lightweight and uh, easily move maneuvered uh, as this one. They do make a wheeled model as well, Blue Coolers does, and they sell them in three colors. The Obviously the blue, being Blue Coolers, the gray, and then a white color as well. I think they've even introduced some others as well. You'll have to follow the link in the description below to go to their actual website. So not only do I like getting things for a great price point, I also want to make sure that they are supporting the things and believing in the things that I believe in. That's why I shoot things like Elite Bows and Magnus Broadheads, right? Made right here in the United States. Customer service is through the roof, in particular with somebody like Magnus, and they'll really take care of you. And the same thing's true with Blue Coolers. They're all about first responders and veterans. They're a big family-operated business out in Utah. Uh, that's just who they are and it seems like all their social media and whatnot is based around their product. They don't really seem to be pushing sales. They seem to be pushing their product because they believe in it. The same thing's true if you go onto their website, you can look up their warranty information. Five years based on the defects of the materials and then a lifetime on things like the hinges, the rubber seal on the inside, the handles themselves, the metal, there goes that suction again, the metal corners, the rope handles, it's all under a lifetime warranty. You just have to pay shipping and handling. So if you go and you break a rope handle off because you're carrying 800 pounds in the cooler, one of these things dry rots and snaps off of the handle. One of the full, remember this hinge is full through, right? It's not just two pins in a corner. It's a full length hinge. It gets rusty or something. You drop it off the boat or whatever and it rusts out. You can get it replaced. Just pay shipping and handling. That seems pretty legit to me. That's my type of warranty that I like out of anything, but in particularly an investment like this and a solid cooler like this. So blue will sell you the cooler, but then they'll also sell you the accessory kit, which is what I got. It has a basket there that you can separate as well as a divider, which is actually doubles as a cutting board, a plastic cutting board. It's actually really well built. We actually use it in our kitchen more than we do here with the actual cooler itself. You can also get a light. They also come with lock, and then they also will sell like the 20 ounce uh, stainless steel tumblers, just like Yeti or any of the other major manufacturers. A 20 ounce tumbler from Blue. I drink my coffee out of it for work almost every single morning. It's nice and powder coated. I really liked it. I think the kit is a really great addition to not just the cooler itself, but also, you know, you have that cutting board. If you want to take this on a fishing trip, that basket to divide things, it's really up to you. I don't see me using those things when I'm hauling deer in and out of an out-of-state trip, but it'd be nice for the family camping. So anyhow, with all these out-of-state hunts figured out for the Average Jack Archery channel this season, I figured I would share with you what I'm going to be hauling my meat in and out of the woods. I know a lot of places have started around the country, North Dakota, Kentucky, so on and so forth. We're still waiting until October. October 3rd here in Pennsylvania. But if you're still looking for a good cooler that's going to last you a long time, that's what I'm looking for here. I think I've found it at a really great price point. Hit up Blue Coolers down below. I'll put all the links down there for all the information as well as you can find this exact cooler if you're interested. I plan to put a lot of deer meat in this as I go through the woods this fall. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about Blue Coolers or anything else, 
else that I do that involves the outdoors. Follow the links in the description below. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, send me an email, and yes, you can always leave a comment here on YouTube. Hope you able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.